Hello there everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. I am so excited to share today's vlog with you. I am actually filming this intro at the end of the day so do excuse my appearance. I know I'm looking a little bit dishevelled but it's been a long one today, trust me. But if you can't tell from the title of today's video, today myself and Charlie have actually been on a hot air balloon ride with Virgin Experience Days and let's just say it was incredible. We have actually tried to book this experience before. Last year we tried to do it in Bristol, however it was cancelled due to bad weather. You do have to ring up the evening before your flight is scheduled to make sure that it can go ahead due to the weather conditions. Luckily last night when we rang up they said that it was going ahead, however we did have a slight issue because there was a change of location. So we booked to do it near Stratford-upon-Avon, but last night we were told that the location had been changed to Eversham. That wasn't really a problem for us, it takes us about the same time to get to both. It took us about an hour to get there from Coventry, so we weren't too mad about that, but it is something to bear in mind that if you do book one location, there is always a backup, so you need to have a look at where that backup location is, because you might be required to go there. I'm not going to carry on waffling. If you do have any questions, then please leave them down below in the comments, and without any further do. Let's just jump straight into the video. We've just pulled up and I don't think you can see on camera if I zoom in a bit you might right down the other end of the field you can see the jeep with a white roof and the basket oh my goodness it's all feeling so real now i can't believe we're actually here okay it's just gone quarter past six and we are starting our walk down to the balloon it's all sinking in a little bit the fact that we're going to be in the sky very very soon i can see them fiddling with the balloon ready to blow it up how are we feeling about going up scared <laughs> Oh, all this time like on the build up to it I've just felt excited I've not felt any nerves but now I'm starting to feel a little bit nervous I won't lie um yeah oh, I can't believe we're finally doing this after so long so after a quick squeeze of encouragement we headed down to the base and started reading through the safety instructions whilst we were waiting for others to arrive. It was at this point that I realised that when you land the balloon can completely tip on the side and that did make me a little bit more nervous, can't lie. But after reading those it was time to spread out the balloon as we all helped with unpacking it and then it was time to blow it up. For the benefit of this video, I have sped up quite a lot of these clips, but I would say the whole process of blowing it up took about 15 minutes, which is a lot shorter than what I expected. After it reaches a certain point with fans, that's when the fire comes on. It looks like this, and it was so exciting when you first heard it go whooshing out. I really, really loved it. This whole time of these 15 minutes, it was just smiles all around, to be honest. We did a lot of silly selfies and little thumbnails here and there. And then this is the last clip that I took of it blowing up, and you can eventually see it stand all the way to the top, although it was a struggle to get it in because I couldn't fit it all in my camera. But when you stand at the bottom, it is huge and then before we knew it it was time to hop in this is when things started getting very real and I had a few doubts but I felt the fear and I did it anyway and after a few more puffs of the fire we were off I'm going to be quiet now so that you can enjoy these next few clips with some music but I really hope you enjoy watching our balloon ride <laughs> So by this point we'd reached a total of four and a half thousand feet off ground level and we started to see a temperature inversion. This is this little yellow line that you can see in the middle of the screen and basically what it is is when warm air is stored above and cold air is stored below that line, the warmer air is from the day before and as the sun rises this inversion will disappear. I just thought that was really interesting because I've never heard anything like that before.
Good morning, Eaton Flights. Can I get a whoosh whoosh? Whoosh whoosh! Good morning! Reading from 5,000 feet above Evesham. After a little bit of difficulty finding a landing spot, it was eventually time to land. We got into our positions that we read about on the safety sheet, and I don't want to speak about these angles, I wasn't going to include this clip, but it is so funny, I can't not. So I hope you enjoy the next 30 seconds of this. And one. Oh. <laughs> 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 so after finishing with a little bit of a bumpy ride which i'm not gonna lie shocked me at how bumpy it actually was it was time to hop out of the basket which was really sad because it was in that moment that you kind of knew it was all over as well as helping to unpack the balloon, you all helped pack it away. I didn't show us folding it because, my God, that was a process, but we all took it in turns to sit on the bag to squish it all in. And then the actual basket kind of got wheeled onto the back of this trailer, which I was so grateful for because I thought we were going to have to push it. After a quick toast and getting our certificates of achievement, we all stood on the side of the trailer because the minibus couldn't find us as we landed in a different field to what was expected. So we took a little trip on that, which was quite fun actually, before heading to the minibus. We eventually found it, thank God. And then we rode on the minibus back to the original landing site where we got back into our car. Okay then, let's be honest about two things. Number one, I'm looking a little bit more rough than I was this morning. These plats haven't held up too well. And number two, it is literally going to be impossible for me to put into words what that experience was like for us this morning. If I was to choose one word overall, it would be incredible. But to give you a little bit more of a breakdown, the whole experience was just something out of this world. Now that I'm sitting back in this house, it almost feels like it was a dream that I've had overnight, especially because we did it early in the morning. I feel like it's just something that I've dreamt of and that we weren't actually in the sky at seven o'clock this morning. I wasn't nervous in the lead up to today, as I said earlier, but today I did feel a few more nerves and the thing that made me most nervous was the landing after I'd read those information sheets in the morning but it was completely fine and when we were doing it I actually found myself in my head thinking I really hope we tip over so I get the full experience but yeah the landing was absolutely fine and even though I had a little bit of nerves at the start I would say that definitely try and challenge them because it was 100% worth it Whilst you're in the air as well, you also feel so weightless. Like after a while, I didn't really feel like we were moving. I just felt like I was floating in one place. Yeah, it's a very, very weird sensation. You are quite cramped. We were in a little pod with two other people and you are pretty much shoulder to shoulder. But then if you turn around, there's room to move and take photos and things. We took so many photos. It's gonna take me ages to sort through them all, but I'm very excited to do so. But yeah, overall, the experience experience was amazing. I would highly recommend it to anybody who's interested. As I mentioned at the start of this video, we booked it with Virgin Experience Days and I can't recommend the experience enough. But yeah, I was going to film the rest of the day, but I think it's quite nice to keep this footage separately so I can watch it back in the future. So I don't really have too much else to say here, but if you have any more questions about this hot air balloon ride, if you're interested in doing it yourself or doing one with another company, then please leave them down below in the comments and I will try to answer them as best as I can. Other than that, I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a like, comment and subscribe down below. And other than that, I look forward to seeing you all very soon in the next Next one lots of exciting summer plans come in so please stick around to see them all and yeah i hope you all have a lovely week goodbye